Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about a very beautiful plant called Gardenia, also known as Cape Jasmine. Gardenia is a tropical evergreen plant that has beautiful white flowers. The flowers almost look like roses and they smell amazing. They are famous for their stunning fragrance and that's why we call them Gandharas, the king of fragrance. They are warm climate plants, they love heat and humidity. They flower from March and they can flower throughout the warm months. They don't flower during the winters. Plant gardenia in a sunny location. They don't grow well in full shade. But in hot climates, you can grow them in partial shade. Protect them from afternoon sun. 5 to 6 hours of morning sun is important to have the best flowering. My gardenia plant is very old. It's more than 15 years old and it's in the ground. So I don't have to care for it much. They just bloom every season. If you are growing them in container, then you have to keep some things in mind. They are sensitive plants and they need a little care. Choose a good size pot so they can grow well. Use terracotta pots for the best results and have good drainage system. The plants like rich, moist, well-draining and acidic soil. They prefer soil with a lower pH level. So mix lots of organic matter and compost with your soil. You can also add a little coco peat for moisture retention. The plants don't like too much dry soil, so water them regularly and keep the soil constantly moist but don't overwater them. You can spray water on the foliage during the hot dry months to maintain the humidity. As fertilizer, you can use any organic liquid fertilizer like mustard cake or banana peel fertilizer. During the blooming period, you can add bone meal to encourage more flowering. I also apply used tea leaves in my plant. It is high in nitrogen and it helps maintain the soil pH. One of the biggest pest problem I face is caterpillars. They eat all the buds, so be careful and check your plants during the flowering season. Bud dropping is another big problem. Overwatering and underwatering can be a cause, so water them carefully. Also protect them from extreme heat, that can be a cause too. Gardenia plants don't like to be disturbed. Don't disturb your plants too much, especially in the blooming season. They can get shock and stop flowering. These are all the things you have to maintain. Gardenia is a beautiful and sensitive plant. If you maintain all the little details, you can grow them very easily. And it's a must-have plant, especially for the fragrance. So grow them and enjoy. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more content. I will see you next time. Bye.